there are some important questions based on the uh, diagrams based on the pictures you have to attempt those questions you have to watch those uh, links but before that i would like to present please keep calm and mute your mics okay power resources number 1 national grid and electricity transmission what is national grid in this uh, video in this uh, lesson you will learn about the national grid and the electricity transmission what is elect uh, national grid and what is electricity transmission transmission is a replaced word for transportation like we use the word transportation of the coal transportation of the oil mineral oil likewise electricity we do not use the word transportation for electricity we use the word transmission right national grid what is national grid definition of national grid and important terms national grid for electricity transmission is a network of power stations you may see that this is a bold term power stations it means we have to focus on this term power station uh, students are joining us right definition sir here is the definition national grid for electricity transmission is a network of power station transmission lines local grid stations local grid stations are also known as the feeders if you are uh, uh, aware of there are feeders in uh, like in mogalpura in bagwanpura in harbanspura there are different feeders of wabda wabda is then government organization which is uh, maintaining holding all these assets and maintaining these assets in pakistan now what is power station power station is a factory where electricity is generated you can see in this picture this is a power station kot adu kot adu is an area in south punjab kot adu power company limited and as you may see this is power company so this is a Uh, private power company they are producing electricity and they are selling to the government then government is distributing this electricity through national grid system it is called capco kot adu power company right over here you have to note down a question analyst the four types of power stations and you are very well aware about the command word analyst and a list of four types of power stations based on raw materials used this is also a directive for you people raw material used in a row you have to write the names of the power stations on the basis of the raw materials used for example one example i am giving you uh, and a list the four types this is on the screen beta and a list the four types of power stations based on raw materials used right acha four power stations you have to analyst but you have to write down raw material uh, no, uh, write down the power stations on the basis of raw materials used for example number 1 shekhupura bikhi power station which is coal fired power station coal fired mean the they are using coal as raw material to generate electricity so that is called coal fired so there are some other ways to produce electricity there are some other raw materials being used to produce electricity so you have to analyst four on the basis of raw material means different raw materials you have to give you have to give you have to write four uh, power stations based on different raw materials sir do we need to do this question now or after sorry do we need to do Question now or after? You have to do it after this presentation. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is the grid station, uh, grid station and transmission. Sir, 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 sir uh, all of you are already requested. Please uh, mute your uh, mics. 
and you can ask the question at the end of the lesson. I am here. I am not going anywhere. Grid station and transmission distribution lines. Transmission lines. You can see in this picture these electric lines. These electric wires are called transmission lines. These are also called distribution lines. Why these are called distribution lines? In the picture below, you can see this. Uh, brown color image is a power plant a power station where electricity is being generated then this electricity is being transferred towards this grid station where it is transformed according to the voltage it is transformed in different type of voltage then again through transmission or uh, through distribution lines or transmission lines it is transported to the areas where it is needed in the center there is an electric pole at the left side of the electric pole there is a grid station which is uploading the electricity to the transmission lines and at the right side of the pole this is a distribution line and this image neighborhood transformer steps is basically a grid station which is again transforming the electricity to be used in the uh, as a household necessary necessity these electricity wires and cables are also called distribution lines carry electricity to the houses now after this national grid station the related concept is rural electrification rural you are all aware about the uh, term rural what is electrification electrification is basically the process of providing electricity to rural areas of pakistan now why rural electricity is necessary number 1 to manage rural to urban migration in pakistan as we know most of the people are coming from rural areas to urban areas to find jobs and to find better living standards to find better health facilities so there is an influx of the people who are migrating from rural to urban areas if we provide electricity to the rural areas we can stop we can manage this migration how because of the electricity they people will find some industrialization process over there and they can find uh, jobs over there they can find better health facilities over there number 2 to upgrade living standards the people who are living in rural areas they are uh, having lower middle standard uh, sorry lower uh, living standards if we provide them with the electricity we can upgrade their standards how again they can uh, work in industries they can increase the, uh, their incomes they can themselves install their industries they can earn more so with the money with the income they can hire they can uh, upgrade their living standards i think new student is here okay zain sir aise to hero yes. hai wo urban nahi ban jayega ah uh, no the uh, that area will be regarded as countryside area or the rural area because this is known <laughs> as in geography this is called the decentralization of the facilities the urban area in context basically this is uh, a very deep theory about the agglomeration of economies